Her tears run deep after losing her 19-year-old daughter, Samaya Spain. This cell phone video obtained by Pix11 News shows the moment Spain and her twin sister, Sanaya, were brutally attacked. That's Samaya apparently being stabbed in the chest and neck. But we are stopping the video right there. Those were deadly points that he punctured in her body that even if she fought it, I don't think she could have won the fight. LaShawn Goodson is more than heartbroken, thinking about the death of her daughter, but how she died, Goodson says, makes the pain that much harder. She didn't want to be bothered. Why did she have to die? Because she, you're not who she want to be accompanied by. Walk away. Don't, don't hit on no girl. Don't fight no female. No matter what. It all started early Sunday morning. Her twins went to grab food at this deli on St. Mark's Plate. <laughs> so we're going to let the lady store first because the reason we're going to let the lady store first because I'm pretty sure y'all have stories. We talked briefly before we started the podcast about y'all incidents and y'all situations when rejecting a guy politely. So we're going to start with Jordan. Jordan had an interesting story. So we're going to start with her. How did you feel about what you read, your experiences? Go ahead. Well, you know, first of all, for everybody in New York and that family, I could not imagine that mother's pain and that twin, like to lose a loved one like that, especially over something that literally could just have been avoided if someone just acted like a normal human being. But uh, a couple years ago, I had a few, uh, me and my homegirls, we were down in Destin, Florida. Um, we were at, I think it's called like Red Apple or something, and we were getting ready to leave. It was a little bit raining that night. And, and uh, these two guys pulled up in a Mustang. And, you know, Mustangs typically do not have back doors and they were like hey like get in the car with us you know we'll drive you to your car and we we're like oh no thank you like first of all i'm not getting in the car with strangers and two even if i did there's no back like i can't get out if i need to get out so we were like no thank you we appreciate it. no thank you and we just kept walking and they kept on and kept cat calling and kept on and eventually my friend was like look we all got boyfriends didn't matter after that they started cussing us out, calling us, you know, a bunch of bitches and saying, you know, fuck y'all, blah, 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 and just going off. And they actually ended up following us to our vehicle, blocked my car in, and it took a, it took a minute for us to be able to get out of there. I couldn't go forward. I couldn't move. So there was nothing we could do but call the police. So did y'all call the police? Yeah, we called the police. Um, I did some other stuff that I probably shouldn't have done, but it scared them away. Like what? I pulled my gun on them. Oh, damn. So they was like, use it. And so I just caught it back. and. So you shot them? No, I just. Oh, okay. Damn. Chamber, chamber one. Yeah, that, yeah. that shit crazy. You put one in the head real quick. Bitch. Hey, I'm going to keep living. Yeah. So, how, so, ladies, how y'all feel about this story? Uh, how do y'all, what was y'all experiences? Alex, Holly, anyone of y'all want to go? Go ahead, girl. <laughs> um, I have one story. Um, you can't reject me because sometimes it hurts their feelings. So, like, I was at a store, and I go to the store in the east a lot, so they know me. So I'm walking in, and he was trying to get my number before, but I ignore these niggas. I try to, so I cannot. And so going into the store, he hit my ass, and I was like, nigga, don't touch me. Like, this is my body. You can't touch me. And so he was like, I don't give a fuck, bitch. And all that shit. Hold on, so he slapped your ass? Yeah, he hit my ass. Okay. And I ain't like that, because I don't know you. you yeah. Know my, that is disrespectful. To me. Yeah. So he was like, shut up, bitch. I'll shoot your ass. So he came up to my face, but the clerk, we would click tight. And so he had his little gun, he clocked that shit. He's like, you can leave my store. And it was like that. So did you see dude ever again? No, yeah. it's I've never seen dude. It was just a passerby. It's typical going to store or gas station activities. Like yep. you give to get one or two outcomes. You can give me your number, text, block, or they can get mad. And so if y'all had a uh let's say if y'all talk to a uh let's say if 10 guys approach y'all and y'all rejected all 10 of them, how many of those guys out of 10 
will be a pleasant, okay, you'll just walk on, don't say anything, don't cuss you out, don't, you know, try to be aggressive with you. What would be the number? Maybe half of them. Yeah, half. Yeah. Like 5.5 5 of them. Yeah, five point five. That's, kind of high yeah. that's a high ass number. Uh, no. that's, that's high as fuck. Really but five point five is yeah. It's time. it's like in between. Like you have some who don't say none, some who get aggravated. Like, what's the most common place y'all get approached and get that reaction? The gas station. Yeah, <laughs> the gas station. That's why we see so many memes about the gas station. Uh, I don't even women. The gas station. Yeah. That's why I don't got cursed out so Sales bad. Club. Just because I ain't want to buy no bud from you. I'm like, I'm straight. I'm not checking for you. Yo, raggedy bitch. That's their favorite word. You raggedy bitch. Like, Damn. I'm but you not raggedy. Please, somebody hold Donald Trump. Yeah, because they don't want the weed. Right. And what's that? Have have any older men? Like, what's the what's the hey, older men? Look, they don't give you no attitude, but they'll hit you with, you don't need your bills paid. And I'm like, mm. We ain't talking about the sugar tricks. I kind of do. <laughs> nah, these young ones ain't doing it right. She said, Holla yeah, said, Holla said she be her bills paid. Oh, she be her bills paid. She turned off. I'm going to get my bills paid. You know, they, they cool. Like. Holla said she going to get her bills paid. Nah, she got bills paid. You pay my bills. Jordan, you said you got, a, what, you got a story with an old guy? Old guy? Like, how do you There's go? actually um, a man at my job. And oh, shit. He, I don't know what he does at the hospital, but he, um, it's not that he necessarily says anything to me. But I can hear him. And like, I will just be walking. Like, I will have come down to the cafeteria, get food, and get ready to leave. And he'll, I'll hear him go, Oh, hey, hey, there she goes. There she goes. Oh, he's like a little. But he will oh, watch. Yeah, and he, he will stare you down. Oh, we, so I'm, I'm going to let y'all know. So Jordan came in here with the little ass shorts on today, right? He a little bit ass short, and that thing was poking. So I was like, "Okay, I, I can." When she didn't take the tennis store, I can see why he might be saying something like that. But don't get yourself in trouble. Sir. She got a bad. I ain't gonna get in trouble. I'm just saying. I'm letting people know. So sometimes, because sometimes a guy would be like, "I don't know why a dude would say anything to her or something like that." But then, I, like, if you be around certain type of women, you're like, "Okay, you know, she got a fat ass." So sometimes having certain assets calls some attention. And people don't like to admit it. If I'm, I'm guarantee you, someone, a woman that's built like a stick, and a woman that's fully figured with a nice shape, gonna have two different experiences in life. You know what I'm saying? And we're gonna talk about it later. Even like plastic surgery. I think a lot of times when women get plastic surgery, I think it's to in make them feel better and also to get some type of attention. Uh, Jordan said she had a, a titties dig before, so. Like I said, we're going to talk about that later on, but right now we're on this. Hollow, what has your experience been like? As far as, like, rejection? Yeah. I haven't really had any bad experiences. I feel like, I don't know, the men that I deal with, I'm, like, a very nice person. I feel like I am sometimes make myself uncomfortable to, like, avoid shit like that, mm -hmm. which sometimes can be bad. But Do you feel like the way society is or the way men are viewed that you have to put yourself in a position to be extra nice to avoid certain situations. Yeah, I do. I feel like sometimes just to avoid that mm -hmm. because people are crazy nowadays. I mean, they will shoot you just over rejection. Yeah. You know, so I just kind of, I know that might not be the best way to approach it. Cause sometimes why put yourself or make yourself uncomfortable to make others uncomfortable or to make others comfortable. But mm -hmm. I'm just trying to avoid that shit altogether. I'm just going to be uncomfortable in the situation. It's laugh it survival. off. Like, laugh it off yeah. and be uncomfortable mm -hmm. and go about my day. I'm and I, not. And I think this is the part that us as us men, we don't really, I guess, get to hear or understand. Because, like, the guys that I hang around, we ain't rejecting no woman like that. If a woman say, you know, I'm cool. I got a boyfriend. It's like, okay, cool. We ain't, we ain't, you stupid bitch. Or, like, <laughs> Alex said, you raggedy bitch. Like, none of us is saying that. Like, <laughs> we not doing that. Also, we not the type of guys that's going to really go up to a woman and just, like, randomly, like, hey, you know, can I get your number? Or you look cute. What, whoop, whoop, whoop. Like, typically, you could, like they said, choosing signals. If a woman, you know, bat her eye at you, looking at you a certain type of way, you know, trying to get close to you to speak to you or, you know, you're in a club and she want to, you know, dance on you or, you know, rub on you, say, oh, you smell good and passing, like, just going up to a woman because she looks good and saying stuff, it's kind of like you asking for rejection almost. And then, like, even when I be seeing, like, videos in a gym, like, it's, 
I, you know, I feel different ways about the gym, but then I also see like a lot of women do be working out and they had their tripods up and random men just come up to them and ask them questions. Like my mind is nowhere near on giving my number out, pursuing somebody or having somebody pursue me. I'm literally here to work out. So I can understand that aspect too. Is it, is it race? Like, cause you only see this really with our people, black, black men, people. young black men spazzing out to the extent that they'll kill. This ain't our first time hearing about this. A woman dying behind uh rejecting the guy. Is but, it is it our exposure to your algorithm the way you might be pursued? I'm, I mean, I mean I'm, I'm just asking, like, is this just specifically a black issue, or do other races of men go to the extent where they'll kill a chick by behind a rejection? Because I, I don't me. think they may in, interact with their women the way we do. I think we have a very unorthodox way of interacting with each other because. Like I said, gas station. Dudes hang at the gas station to holler at chicks. Yeah. What kind of strategy is that to have at the gate anyway? Right. You know what I'm saying? So I think white folk do. Wait at the gas station. No, not the gas station. The gas station is same. Yeah, I'm saying they, they do it in the, in a in a social setting, like a bar, a club. Yeah, okay. where you I got a meet story that. for that one too. Y'all ain't got them stuff. Well, when your book come Harry out? Harry Potter got there. <laughs> when, oh, 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 when the series start, got there. When you want it. Uh, I mean, like, a couple weeks ago, I was at the Phoenix, and there was actually, uh, it was a white man who came up to me and a group of friends. And I'm polite, because I'm really not going to just sit there and just be like, no, I don't want to talk to you. Like, if you talk to me, I'm going to respond. But um, he did make me a little uncomfortable. And he's like, you know, what's your name? Where are you from? And then uh, eventually, like, he was, like, kind of getting too close, and he's almost pressed against me. And he said, he's like, you have no idea, like, how I feel about you right now. Like, you have no idea what's going on in my pants. I was like, oh, oh was my like, God. I was like, all right. I was like, uh, yeah. I looked at the bartender. I said, I need an angel shot. And that was the end of that conversation. Mm, you know, it just makes you want to just bust. No. no. <laughs> and, uh, he actually ended up finding my Instagram and he messaged me some inappropriate stuff and some a little bit. It was some racist stuff, too. And then uh, I, I saw him again this past weekend at the bar and he asked me the same stuff he asked me in, off Instagram. That's crazy. Yeah, that's why. That's, that's too much that's time. Need you need to sit your head down. Why do you think me and got an issue with rejection? Like, what? Because. <laughs> You can't think you're gonna get every chick you're gonna holler at. So what's yeah. the do you think men still have like a you think it's developmental issue? I would think a, maybe a superiority complex from back in the day. Because you gotta think about it. You got if you put like a hundred years, two hundred years, I didn't have to worry about rejection because it weren't laws in place to protect women like that. And I think we still seeing a lot of things where men don't understand that you can't do what your granddaddy or your great granddaddy thought it was okay to do to women. Yeah, but these be young boys doing this. These boys being anywhere seventeen or twenty one, like you gonna you gonna crash out over this one chick that denied you. No, I like what make you react? Like what's the so I'm, I'm you gonna just say, don't wake up and be like that. Like it got to be some underlying factors that a boy don't have don't understand rejection is gonna happen. Yeah, we older men than twenty one. So I think it'd be more dangerous for a woman probably to reject the guy in a group than to reject him if it was one on one. And like this video, you see a bunch of people around. He probably felt the ways when she said, "No, I'm good." You know, all the niggas clowning her, clowning him, right. and then he got to you know jump out, jump out the window and go off on her because now all these people around me seeing me getting rejected, my homeboys, yeah. I might be the man on the block or trying to be the man on the block or whatever. And now this woman rejected me, you know. I gotta find some way to, I guess, quote unquote, get my manhood back. Cause she, you know, she, like I said, brought me down a few levels, rejected me. You get what I'm saying? So, like I said, it's probably more dangerous to do that in a group setting than it is if you was one on one with a guy. Cause nobody's gonna be around to see you reject me. You know. So I think part of that that's a that's one of the reasons I think it's scary for a woman to reject the guy in, in that group setting. Cause like I said, you don't know how his friends going to react. You don't know how he going to react, especially late at night. I think they said it was out at one o'clock at the bodega in New York. You know what I'm saying? Like if you reject this guy, what if it could have been him following you and your sister down the alley or something? You get what I'm saying? Or he with his friends and they all follow you down the alley or something. Yeah. Like you just, you just never know what you think. 
I mean, it's either way. I think women have to be strategic when they out in the streets. Yeah. Because, like I said, the way we out and about, with no man in sight, these two young young girls, they can't do nothing with no men. Right. right. So why are they out in the first place? You see what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. you should have some food at the house. Right. I mean, not everybody has food. I know I'm saying you put your you, you you this ain't your first time going in this store. But those girls never did nothing wrong. I understand that, but you got it's a, like it's called situational awareness. Children. It's I could pick from five gas stations to go to. I may have to go down a little bit further. I do that for my safety because I know what I know. If I go in here, I know you think that's their first time somebody trying to holler at them. No. no. So well, knowing can't. knowing what environment you going into, one would say, well, I just go to another one. Okay, but how like down. the niggas are up north is they could be living literally like a block away from it and it's the closest one. Yeah. Versus going three blocks to the next one this way or going it, it doesn't matter where you are, it can happen night or day, like we it can happen, if, but you minimize because it's it's too many stories like this. This ain't our first time hearing about a girl rejecting a guy. But not all of us at night though. I know it's not, but it's the fact that you going into a spot the way you know what's gonna be in here. If I go into a strip club, I know it's strippers in here. And if I end up doing like you knew you was going to That can you, happen anywhere. anywhere. I know, but that can it's, happen at the Walmart, that can happen at the Applebee's. But the probability, I know this store has this type of crowd every night. I don't think the store has yeah. anything to do with it. It's just it doesn't matter. We have to keep our head on the swivel regardless. Cause I mean You say you get I shot, you get, you say you can get shot anywhere anywhere yeah. you go. Yeah. I but you I guarantee you're not going to California. And wearing blue and red just out freely because you know, better. I mean, that's common sense. We know gangs, but it, when it comes but, to but how you know common sense by that, but not by this, it's the same it thing. It doesn't matter if we have common sense or not, men are not going to care where it's at. There are some men who are fragile and just will do it just because I get that. I'm not talking about the mountain, about the woman knowing what's in here. But that, I need what to if be that able... wasn't the case, though? You're assuming that's the case, but this could have been something innocent. Like, you you wouldn't understand. You saw, the, you, you saw the video? We just played the video, right? Yes. It was at least eight boys in this store. Eight. Okay. So we can't... So, okay. And it's late night. So, again, this store probably has this same traffic, which is why it was eight of them in there at this point. This one, just no random... It was jumping tonight. But oh. it's also New York. You got to think how many people in New York. How many yeah, people it is time. different up there. It normal. is normal. It yeah, is normal, normal to go downstairs and just go to the bodega, go around the corner. Same in Boston. Like, yeah, I, I agree walk. with that part. I that could point walk to get to three freaking Dominican places. I get eat. that. I'm just saying. Why, at some up. point, you got to have some type of awareness to say, I ain't gonna go there. I ain't gonna go in. But even right if you right. do have that awareness, it could still yeah, happen. You could go somewhere. Yeah, I get, I get what y'all. I yeah. get what y'all saying. You it can really to, happen there. But I get what you saying. Percentage of possibility elsewhere. Not, that's that's. But the probability is lower. He's not saying it's her fault. He's just saying it's almost like going to a gas station. We can go to Robo or we can go to Hoover. It's like different locations gonna get you different results. That's that what he's saying. You know, you're not gonna have. That girl certain... got shot in Hoover, though. I know, but you know, if you go to the Chevron and Hoover, you ain't gonna have the same interactions. You go to the Chevron and Hoover ten times, and you go to the Chevron off the Parkway ten times. That Hoover and that uh, Parkway experience is gonna be night and day. I you ain't gonna take have my pistol. You ain't gonna. You're not gonna. You're gonna have. You're not gonna have no way near the, the car, interactions that the Hoover that Chevron. Way. That you do on the one on Carson Road. And if y'all watching the video, y'all make sure y'all share the video, like the page. And we agree to that. We can uh, agree to that. That's my whole point. Yeah, he's not saying it's her fault. Though. I'm not saying it's yeah. her fault. Either. I'm not saying. So it's basically, her he's saying. At, I'm just saying if it's con it's convenient. So uh, I convince myself if I'm right here. And it's okay, so I got to ask a question for you. So <laughs> you put convenience over your safety. Yeah, that's what he's saying. I mean, that's the that's the common sense question. Like, would you put convenience over your safety? That's all he's asking. Nope. You're not supposed to. No, you're not supposed to. Why should I have to do that? Uh, no, hold on. Which I'm, look, I agree. Well, I agree as a as a as a person, anybody, man or woman, you should not have to inconvenience yourself for safety because we should be living under a social contract to say, hey, I'm just a woman walking in here, minding my business. You should not slap me on the ass because I'm just walking in here. You know what I'm saying? Like you should be able to go to the parkway. You shouldn't have to drive the hood. We get that, but. 
the world is not set up that way. It's predator prey mentality. And that's what I think a lot of women be lackadaisical on when they come to these certain certain situations. It's like, well, men shouldn't be like this. Yeah, and I agree. I think everybody in this room agree. Men shouldn't be like that, but the reality is you got there's a lot of things in this there. world that shouldn't happen. But they do. But 12 o'clock on a Sunday morning, two women. That's what I'm saying. It's not so ladies, fault. we gonna be strapped up. Yeah, be strapped. We right. and cold deep. Yeah. 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 yeah, I agree. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Look, I back. agree. I agree. Women should have pistols, tasers, mace. Oh, y'all should always, always put yourself in a position to be able to protect yourself. Pregnancy, and don't just have it. Yeah. Oh, pregnancy test. Yeah, you need to make sure <laughs> I have that. <laughs> but oh, also, how, how, how do we get here? Bro? <laughs> 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 We're gonna catch somebody do pregnant. We on this do we have, do men have fish drips too? Because how we get filet of fish? Filet. Oh man, ah, uh, now nah, that means you finna come up on some stank stank. <laughs> that fish. That's that once a year McDonald's craving. Oh, oh shit. Okay, that filet of fish is be good. Oh, oh, they do be busting. Oh, they busting. <laughs> Especially with two pickles. But I, like, but with the rejection, like, because I got the two pickles, girl. <laughs> Like seeing how, because like I said, this ain't our first time hearing about these type of stories. Like, mm -hmm. guy get rejected, they go to the the extreme. I would say I don't think they got taught how to interact with women. They just going off a of natural. You see what I'm saying? The, the dad ain't in the house in a lot of cases. Hey, you gonna you gonna try to talk to these girls? Some of them may not like you. You see what I'm saying? Why is my first reaction is to is to underlie this woman? That's super extreme. From just a simple you can't have my number i don't i don't think you get those re i think a lot of i think those reactions from those type of men will probably be those quote-unquote incels the men that have you know bad relationships with women that's always had bad relationships with women like even when we see like people that are school shooters they always do their background they, they said it's mentally unstable they wasn't popular in school they was like a recluse they never really got into play with women so i think when you have men that just jump out like that and just bad Two women like that, they're just not good with women and had never probably have been good with women. But they be young, though. These guys don't be no more than 23. 22. That's enough, that's enough life experience to from high from elementary school to 23. That's a lot of interactions with the opposite sex. Not on a relationship yeah. standpoint, though. But you but you're not necessarily a relationship standard, but you know how it was in the first grade. The girl gave him hit <laughs> the girl over there at this table. She gave him the juice, but when I asked for the juice, she didn't give it to me. <laughs> I don't think I don't think it started that early for it started, boys. bruh. It started that early. It's not for them to know. I'm saying for them to know. No, I'm, to I'm telling you, as, a, as 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 somebody that has a five year old, it starts, it starts early because my they, they, they told me his preference, and I don't blame him. Yeah, I'm missing when I say I say I know it started because it happened when I said for most. Everybody know. ain't a Mac daddy. That's what I'm. That, that's yeah. my that's point. I say for most, they ain't gonna get that. But that's what I'm the saying. The few years that we talking about gonna get it, yeah. But that's my point. Most men ain't, ain't the Mac Daddy. Most men ain't gonna get that. She gave me the juice. Most men are gonna get rejected. That's my. And that's so what I just that, said. And that's what I'm saying. So when you have that, it comes with time to actually understand a little a little bit more. But as when you're young, like I said, when you at the lunch table and, and you ask Shorter for her juice or her popsicle, and she say no, but then you see her give it to this other dude, you are like, oh, okay. So you starting to understand how it goes. People I always like to be like. And women do this a lot. Women like to act like everybody's cute, but you know you rank it. Just like men, we learn that junk early, but then we get on, you know, social media and we see women like, oh, she pretty. Don't be body shaming. Like, Come on now. Y'all know y'all hurting this woman in the dating standard, telling her she don't need to lose no weight, but she ain't having her weight. That's why we call it, that's why Rissa Tissel, what they say, the big back energy. When you hear this story about this woman saying this, like, okay, we get it. We understand it. You know what I'm saying? So, like I said, when we talk about the men, it's a lot of men that ain't never really got to that point. She got to the seventh grade. Hey, let me hold your books to class. And she's like, nah, I got it. Then you see another nigga, seventh grade, holding her books, uh, walking her to the classroom, uh, sharing lockers with her. Then you get to high school, and he's like, oh, you know, let me take your ride home. She say no. Now she in the car with somebody else, getting another ride home. Well, hey, can I take you to prom? No. Now she pulling up to prom with somebody. Like I said, you gonna have a lot of experiences with women from kindergarten preschool middle school high school and even a college I, I think that invisible man i think we talked about that before what? not here the invisible man like it's a it's a population of men that are just completely invisible mm -hmm. to women women I just agree. don't see them 
they don't they they not gonna be able to process that. They not gonna know how to deal with no chicks, no matter what happened. They just don't they just don't meet the they don't meet the criteria. Right. So uh I don't I never seen this like as far as video, like with any other race. And I don't want to make it specific specific to the black race, but I don't really see this with other I'm talking about where you go to the street, you're gonna unalive the chick. It's such a 19. So, uh, well, we got Jordan Holler here. Have y'all heard uh any stories about you know men and y'all races just unaliving women because they got rejected? Because Jordan, you said you those are the white guys that you had to pull the gun on at the beach, right? Mm -hmm. They were. Mm. I haven't necessarily heard any like anything on the news about it, but you know, the news kind of picks and chooses what yeah, it puts out true. there. And yeah. they just I just don't think they put that out there a whole lot. You don't think they'll put a white man on the lab and a white a white woman? White so, white people depends. kill people more than anybody on this in this country. It depends mm. on what it is, because that you know, if they mm. they pregnant or married or got kids involved with them killings, you go hear about it. You got independent media true. outlets though. The mainstream media gonna cover a certain type, but you got so many independent exactly your world stars, your gossip or whatever that shit was, but I just don't really see in it because I, I said we don't interact with our women the way other groups of people interact with their women. Like, do you think that's part of us black people having more fatherless homes too? I could say it, it would have because even when you look at like statistics of when they talk about sexual assault and rape and stuff like that, most of <clears> those guys, like 80% of those guys, come from households where there's no men. I can believe that. So you're not taught to learn how to handle your emotions as a man. Uh, you're not learned how to handle rejection like you. You don't. You have nobody to come home to after you've been rejected from the male perspective on how they approach the woman after getting rejected and actually making a change to actually get that woman. Like if you get rejected and you go home to your mama and your mama, you say, mama, this girl rejected me. She's not going to know how that feel, but she's going to probably tell you some, some stuff that she think is going to be cute to do for the girl or whatever you do and still get rejected. But she never, he's never going to hear that male perspective about getting rejected time and time again, or how his daddy did it, how his uncles did it and stuff like that. So like I said, from statistics, you know, rape is a lot of those guys come from single, single, can I put a Hold taboo on. subject? I think this is gonna make this gonna take this conversation to a whole new level, right? Go ahead. Now. Let's say because we talked about this that we've been taught incorrectly that men are supposed to pursue women. I don't believe in that. I think the women because only you know what you like. So let's say ten, you line up ten guys right here. You know you only like two of them. Ten of them come to you. Wouldn't it make more sense if you know the two or the one you like to go to that one? Oh, this what I'm gonna do regardless. Huh? Yeah, but, I'm gonna do it. But, but I'm saying, but it's a whole narrative and notion that the men are supposed to pursue the, the 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 women. But if you flipped it on this head, you wouldn't have a lot of women being unalived by the men because the men really wouldn't be rejecting at that point. You see what I'm saying? So the dynamic would be this is a what y'all could tell if somebody attracted you, the attraction level would be it'll make sense. You see what I'm saying? It won't be the let me guess, let me try to finesse, let me try to run game, let me try to buy you, let me try to trick. She's just gonna choose on her own. Is that what she's gonna do anyway? Right. But like oh. I think Jordan said this one time, like on our first uh podcast, she said uh pretty much everybody she pretty much talked to, they she always had like a high like attraction to them people. And she had the best experience yeah. with when when she was the pursuer or the initiator or whatever yeah. you want to call it. Yeah, I think I yeah. think women don't like the, the the word chase or pursue because, like I said, it's taboo or the man's supposed to do it. Or they even like to use the Bible scripture, a man who finds a wife finds a good thing. But women also put themselves in position. You pity. <laughs> oh, you pity. We talk about it later. <laughs> oh, I ain't being pity. I'm just you saying. Petty. I'm you just petty. saying. I'm just saying. But no, uh, uh, no, I'm just saying because most people identify as christian or bible or uh abrahamic faith so a lot of those things are in a lot of these texts and books that we read and stuff so like i said um the reason that i say that women actually position themselves most of the time that like i said when you said women pursue it made me think like huh, how many times have a woman pursued or how many times that i pursue or actually go up to a woman i'm like oh, most of the times they're like even my wife 
I, I was telling you about this earlier. My wife claimed because we all used to be in the group chat. Me, Vic, my wife. They left me out. And, and randomly, oh, she randomly, <laughs> randomly, she texts me and she was like, "What, what y'all, what y'all doing tonight?" And I would just text back, thinking, and then I, she was like, "What you doing right now?" I was like, "Now I was like, she like, you want to go get something?" I was like, "Yeah." I said. You know, my friend told me about East West. I ain't never been. You want to go to East West? So she like, yeah, that same night we went to East West. And then I was like, oh, okay. And then like two or three days, we went on like four dates, four days straight after that, right? And so then I'm like, you, why you text me? Uh, I thought I was texting the group. Nigga, really? <laughs> really? Man, she could have played that off a little bit, right? right. Smooth right. thing. You know? I, I thought I thought I was texting the group. Come on, you, you know, know you I'm lying, but I'm, I'm trying to talk to you. But that's still. cute. Yeah, but that, I'm like, and that that was, and we married now, been together seven years now. Oh, why, why you say that? Throwing shade. Why you say that? Don't worry about that. That's obvious. Cut from Facebook. That's what uh-huh. she talking about. Uh-huh. She talking about Facebook. So do y'all believe women supposed to the men supposed to pursue y'all or y'all? I'm gonna shoot my shot. I don't care. Okay. So yeah. So y'all, I, I don't, so y'all don't believe per, in that. What is your percentage of shooting shots? I ain't gonna lie. I would say about a good sixty-seven percent. You know, when 60, I shoot 70, my shot, sixty. Six to seven. So I do one to 